Aside from interesting information about Jersey Wooly in our previous video, here are other things that you need to know when raising the Jersey Wooly rabbit, taking care of them, and providing all of their needs. Setting up a Jersey Wooly cage. Your Jersey Wooly's enclosure should be large enough for it to comfortably stretch. This shouldn't be too difficult because of its small size. Look for a minimum size of 1 foot per 1 pound of your rabbit's body weight. If your rabbit weighs 3 pounds, its cage needs to have an area of at least 3 square feet. The width of the cage should be 1.5 times the length and the length should be 3 times the length of a fully grown Jersey Wooly. Keep in mind that the cage isn't going to house your rabbit only. It will need to have enough room for its food and water dishes, a litter box, and a box for it to sleep and rest in. Ideally, you should look for a floor space of at least 6 feet for a fully grown rabbit. Aquariums and cages with solid walls are not suitable for rabbits as it restricts their airflow. Look for a wire enclosure with plastic or solid, carpeted bottom. Avoid wire-bottomed cages as the tiny feet of a Jersey Wooly can easily get stuck to the floor, causing injury and pain. Wire floors are also notorious for causing sores at the bottom of rabbit's feet. Bedding Your pet will need an area to sleep in on top of the floor of the cage. Rabbits tend to dig and eat their bedding. Therefore, make sure you choose a material that is safe for rabbits to eat. If you're carpeting the floor of your rabbit's cage, choose fleece as it won't block its digestive tract if it eats it. Whether you choose a carpeted, wood, or plastic flooring, you need to place a deep layer of bedding on the floor. The best rabbit-safe bedding options include timothy or meadow hay. You can also use a natural fiber blanket or any other bedding made with organic material. You must avoid using harmful materials, such as wood shavings, pine products, cat litter, newspaper, cardboard, or cedar for bedding. There should be enough bedding for your rabbit to move around and burrow in. Bedding should be spot cleaned every day to clear it off food debris, water, urine, and fecal droppings. Replace the bedding once every week, or more often, if needed. Jersey Woolies Diet Hay Hay is essential for rabbits and should make up 80% of your Jersey Woolies diet. It is packed with nutrient-rich fiber that also ensures the proper functioning and motility of the digestive tract. Rabbits spend a large proportion of their time chewing on hay, which helps keep their teeth trimmed and their dental health in check. Grass hays, such as timothy, orchard, and oat should be provided in unlimited quantities. Alfalfa hay is high in calories and should only be given to a Jersey Woolly occasionally. Fresh Pellets Jersey Woolly rabbits also need pellets to keep up with their nutrient demands. Choose a high-quality pellet that's high in fiber and low in carbohydrates. Avoid mixes that include unhealthy, high-calorie, or high-carbohydrate ingredients, such as dried fruit, corn or seeds. An adult Jersey Woolly can have one eighth to one quarter of a cup of fresh pellets every day. Leafy Greens Jersey Woolly rabbits need green leafy vegetables for added fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Leafy greens are also packed with moisture, which helps prevent dehydration in rabbits. Carrot tops, broccoli stems, bok choy lettuce, except iceberg and dandelion greens make excellent leafy greens for a pet Jersey Woolly. Feed no more than half to one cup of loose greens every day, spreading it over three to four portions. Treats Treats, such as fruits and starchy vegetables, should be limited in a Jersey Woolies diet. Because Jersey Woolies are so small, they can only be given one tablespoon of treats three to four times a week. Going over this limit can lead to obesity and related issues in your pet, taking years away from its life. Jersey Woolly rabbits are herbivorous. So, their diet should consist of hay, vegetables, pellets, and some fruit. With fresh foods, always make sure you wash them thoroughly to remove any pesticides and harmful chemicals. Remove uneaten fresh foods at the end of the day to prevent rotting. Water Your rabbit should have access to fresh water, either in a stable water dish or a sipper bottle in its cage. Most rabbits prefer ceramic dishes. If the water from the bowl gets tipped or gets your rabbit's hay wet, change the hay immediately. Never let hay get spoiled or wet inside a rabbit's cage. Health Issues Dwarf rabbits can live up to 10 years if kept in proper conditions and given a healthy diet. Like other pets, the Jersey Woolly requires routine veterinary care to avoid common health conditions seen in dwarf rabbits. Wool Block Jersey Woolly rabbits are not as prone to wool blocks as other thick-coated rabbits, such as English Angoras. However, because they have shaggy coats, they're still somewhat at risk. Rabbits are fastidious groomers and keep themselves clean by licking their fur. Rabbits don't regurgitate their wool. Anything a rabbit swallows stays in its digestive tract until it is ready to be eliminated. An accumulation of wool inside the stomach can cause bloating and a feeling of fullness, resulting in loss of appetite, starvation, and death. You may also notice fewer droppings in your rabbit's cage. 
to prevent wool block, brush your rabbit every week, and more often during shedding seasons. Dental disease. Jersey woolies are particularly susceptible to dental problems because of their smaller heads and longer jaws. This combination can lead to misalignment issues, such as mandibular prognathism. Mandibular prognathism results in abnormal patterns of dental damage, causing altered teeth positioning and elongated teeth. Signs include loss of appetite, weight loss dribbling, and digestive tract issues. Your vet may fix your rabbit's teeth to improve misalignment under anesthetic. They may also remove any sharp spikes which can easily cut into the soft tissues of the tongue and cheeks. Respiratory tract disorders. Jersey woolly rabbits are vulnerable to respiratory conditions because the roots of their upper teeth are situated just below their sinuses. Any inflammation of the gums or teeth can lead to sinus infections. Other respiratory conditions include snuffles, which cause a runny nose, rapid breathing, coughing, and discharge from the eyes. Snuffles is caused by the Pasteurella bacteria and can be transferred to other rabbits. Early treatment with antibiotics can help clear up the infection. Bladder problems. Unlike other animals, rabbits absorb all the calcium they obtain from their diets and expel it through their bladders. Unfortunately, this can result in the buildup of calcium in the bladder, also called bladder sludge. Jersey woolies are highly susceptible to developing bladder stones. Symptoms include blood in the urine, urine scald, and squealing or vocalizing while passing urine. Bladder problems are easy to treat if detected early. Bladder sludge can be flushed out of the bladder with fluids and bladder stones can be surgically removed. For bladder infections, a course of antibiotics can help. To avoid bladder issues in Jersey woolly rabbits, a hay-rich diet with high-quality pellets containing the right amount of calcium should help. Flystrike. Jersey woolly rabbits are more at risk of flystrike because eggs can easily adhere to their long fur especially if tangled. Rabbits that aren't healthy or are feeling unwell are more at risk because of their poor grooming routines. Catching flystrike early can make treatment more effective. However, it is important to address the underlying cause of the flystrike to eliminate the problem successfully. For example, if your rabbit isn't grooming itself because of a pre-existing condition, such as obesity or dental issues, you may have to treat the issue to avoid flystrike. Uterine cancer. Jersey woolly rabbits are susceptible to uterine cancer, the symptoms of which include loss of appetite, blood in the urine, stillbirths, and fertility issues. In some cases, cancer may spread to the lungs, resulting in breathing problems. If caught early, removal of the uterus can help your rabbit live a normal and healthy life. Ideally, you should prevent it by spaying your female rabbit. Jersey rabbits are low maintenance and highly affectionate pets that are excellent for new owners. They can cost anywhere between $75 to $250 depending on where you live. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.